An upside down landing. This is the story of how I built an RC plane from scratch. Since I didn't want to follow the tutorial, I used ChatGPT for everything from the dimensions to the parts list. Eventually, this was the design that I settled on. Looks like the electronics have arrived. I ordered a remote controller, a battery, propellers, a motor, and servos. Here's how all these components work together. The controller sends a signal to the receiver, which then transmits the throttle input to the ESC. This device then converts the electricity from the battery to a form that the motor can use. The servos then connect into these ports on the side of the receiver. Quick note about the motors, these things are kind of dangerous. Since I'm an idiot, I turned it up to full throttle and it ended up cutting my finger, so just be careful. Now back to the build. At this point, one of the flaps got super misaligned and for a while I couldn't figure out why. However, eventually I realized that these knobs at the top of the controller were actually controlling the flaps too. Then I found this piece of wood in my garage to use as the motor mount, but it broke. So I found another one and attached the motor. I then added some foam and then added it to the plane. However, that motor mount actually ended up breaking too. So I made one that was a little bit thicker, as you can see here. But it broke again, so I had to make yet another motor mount. So I actually forgot to film the first flight, however, the motor mount broke for the fourth time. New motor mount even thicker than before. I then got back out to the field. It was finally time to fly. Go ahead.
this flight ended up going super high and then crashed upside down. However, the plane was mostly okay. We ended up flying the plane a couple more times, but then it broke. Okay, so our ESC is pretty much destroyed. Some exposed wire here, and then these probably got cut by the propeller, which is over there, so we can't really fly anymore. Although the flying was cut short, it was still a great experience. The plane ended up flying better than expected, and overall, Throughout the process, I learned so much about RC plane design, electronics, and flying. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and let me know what I should make next. The starting of the week, I tell me, talk to you.